Welcome to It's Cheaper Than Therapy, Perfect Pets Mini Edition. Welcome to Perfectly Pets Mini Edition. We are using the Sizzix Big Shot Express die cutting machine for all of our cutting for this project. Okay, so a lot of these pieces that you get, um, when you do the bitty ball pop-up, there's also, there's the regular surprise um, ball pop-up. And so it's a little bit bigger. This one will actually fit into an A2 size card. You know, took my piece and just lightly went over the edge. I didn't want too much. I just wanted a little bit of an edge. And then when you put it down onto black or onto a, like a cream colored, you can actually see the definition of it. And so you can use these um, blending brushes for a lot of things. So I'm using them for our chalks right now. And um, a lot of you got chalks. If you don't have chalks, you know, if you have a water-based marker, you can use them. Um, you know, you got your ink pads, you can do that a lot with them too. And so um, go through, and if you wanna give them a little chalk up, you can. You know, this is gonna be your first one that, that we're, we're making, is basically just kind of showing you how to put it together, how easy it is, because it's very intimidating, you know, to show, um, you know, some of these that are just a little harder to work with, that are kind of confusing with the pop-ups and all that, but we're gonna break it down here for you and we're just gonna make it really easy for you. See you. the score lines, I wanna point that out. You can see the score lines on this side of it. You can't really see them on this side, so this is always gonna be your inside. This will be your outside. So this is, when I'm talking inside and outside, that's what it'll be. We're just demoing here of just taking some more of the chalk and the um, blending brushes and going around the edges of all of your pieces. Take your time and do that well and enjoy. All right, starting to put these together, again, I wanted to point out, you know, there's the um, score lines. So this is gonna be the front of it. And if you notice, this little guy here has got two little wings and this guy on here has got two little wings. And so the first thing you wanna do is kind of prep everything. So we're gonna fold it over and just kind of score all of those little, those little wings back. Just those four wings. Again, you're going to actually have to use this real is really good cardstock because if you don't, it's just going to be flimsy and it's just not going to work well. Now, after you do that, what we're going to do is, is talk about adhesives a little bit. Um, we've got the Karen Berniston fine tip bottles. We got the 18 and the 20 gauge. This is 18, this is 20. And this is gonna let a little bit more out the yellow one than it will the blue one. And you wanna stick with your glue that's really, really good that works for you. Tape runners are gonna not work well. Double-sided adhesive tapes, I wouldn't probably recommend it for this. Um, this is just, um, this is the Express Glue from Sizzix that's in these bottles. And I'm gonna take and put it on both of these little wings and then fold them over. And if you've got those little, um, like little clippies, you can um, do the little clippies to kind of hold it together, or you can kind of hand hold it until the glue takes effect. So this is a, um, a dries clear glue. So we're working, this is the inside of it. So don't worry about anything there, but it does dry clear. So I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna um, um, do all the little wings and continue you want on. to take, and if you notice, all of these other score lines that are here. You've got um, two full flaps on this one, so be sure you don't bend this part up. Always only bend, I got my finger behind it there. Always bend just on the score line. You wanna give it a good fold. You don't wanna sit there and kind of, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You wanna give it a nice, clean fold. That way, when this thing gets put together, all of your lines match up really, really nice. This is thick cardstock, so just gotta get your finger behind there and just kind of support it as you fold it over on those long ones. And then here's another one. You just want to give it a good fold. Just give it a little pinch. Don't go crazy with the whole back and forth kind of stuff. Just give it the little pinch so it lines up really nice. So then when you start putting this together, it all works very, very cleanly. Okay, so I'm going to do that on the other one. Okay, so when you put the top and the bottom ball in, you wanna make sure that these two pieces will kiss together. And you wanna put your adhesive, wanna match them up. So the holes will match up. You can see that real close. The holes are gonna match up and the slits are also gonna match up as well on both sides. And so um, be generous on your adhesive. Don't worry, it's all going to um, you know dry clear, but you wanna make sure that after you put your adhesive on that these edges 
are really nice and straight. So then as you put your ball together, it's going to work really, really well and it's gonna look nice and everything is gonna match up. Be generous on your adhesive when you are putting it in there. Um, that way that it sticks really, really well because you don't want it coming apart. Do not use inexpensive adhesives, use good quality adhesives. But if you notice that I drew an arrow, which is the opposite of where the little slit is from the hole, go the opposite way is how we're gonna start building this together. And there's a reason for this is because once you get partially around, you're gonna have to be able to get that rubber band in there. So when you put this around, so you basically got your two halves. Putting together the um, little flaps that are on there, they just go right underneath, just opposite sides. Again, be generous on your adhesive while putting it together because there'll be a lot of tension against those pieces that you're gluing together. So that's why it's good for good quality cardstock. Again, we're just finishing adhering all the pieces all the way around both of the pop-up balls. Um, so then we can get ready to put them together to finish up with the fox. We are using the Sizzix Express um, glue. It dries clear. We're using the Karen Burniston fine tip bottles with both different tips on there. And so when you squeeze it together, make sure that you wipe off the adhesive and it will dry clear. So um, some of it will come out, but just be sure you're generous with your glue when putting those pieces together. Okay, now that we've done that on both of the bitty balls, um, so if you notice in here, you can see the little slits that are in there. And so you're gonna take your rubber band and you're basically just gonna slide it to that little end where the hole is at. And then you're gonna slip it over onto this side. You can work with them when they're a little bit flat. You can even do that when they're flat before. Uh, but before you do the rubber band, you wanna kinda see what the weight of this is. Sometimes it can get squishy or it could be too much weight or too little weight um, onto the rubber band. So we're gonna put that together now. All right, so putting these together, you can do one of two things. You can use um, tweezers if you want. Um, if you don't wanna get your hands all sticky or, or inked or chalked up, whatever you like. So you can actually just take your, your little tweezers here. This is the Sizzix tweezers. And some people are good with using their fingers and some people are good with just using tweezers, which I prefer tweezers. That's just my um, preference on here. So we're gonna take this and put them on all of them. And so you can kind of see how easy it is just by putting them on now, rather than trying to do it when the ball is put up into um, with the rubber band because then it's kind of working against you a little bit. You can still do it, but it's actually easier to do it while it is flat. While adhering all of the pieces on there, you want to make sure that um, if you're using the chalks or the inks, um, you know, with getting your fingers dirty, sometimes when you're picking up the lighter color papers, some of that rubs off on your fingers. So I do carry just some um, some makeup wipes um, next to me so I could just wipe my fingers off in between of doing all of these pieces with the blending brushes and, and the adhesive and the chalks that kind of just blend on over. So be sure that you get your hands all clean each time that you're handling this because you're kind of handling it a lot. But isn't it adorable? It's coming together. One of the tips is taking the little jar with some uh, wet uh, paper towels in there so then when you take your bottles that have the fine tips sometimes they dry out really really fast and you always have to put the cap on and off on and off so be sure that you um, tip them upside down put them in the wet paper towels and they'll stay moist and you don't have to keep putting the lids on and off each time that you're using them so that's a great tip that you can use while doing these projects so you can actually have several bottles open at the same time and just grab the ones that you need this paper is gorgeous. It's this beautiful metallic papers that we'll also have for sale on our website. We've used this in another um, couple projects, this type of paper, and it is just beautiful. Okay, so we did put the bubber band in there, and if you can see, it goes all the way down to that little point. Got some adhesive in there. It goes all the way down to the little ball, the little circle, on both sides of those little um, slits. So. 
that is how you want to get the rubber band in there. So you can kind of test the springiness of it and see if it's popping up and they're popping up pretty good. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually adhere these other two other two pieces together. Now, if you wanted to put the brads in there, um, you can put the brad in on here and to the bottom to connect them. So if you wanted to have, you know, the head spinning if you wanted to, you could also put a, a brad into the bottom of this if you wanted to glue it, um, have a brad into the actual card. So to actually spin on the base of the card. So I'm not gonna do either one of those on this one, but that's what the brads are for. And that's what these pieces are for as well. So we're gonna have one on the top and we're gonna have, um, you know, one on the bottom. And then we're gonna have our feet and put all of our little fluffy pieces together. So um, all you're gonna do, after you put the rubber band all in there and you get ready to close it up, you're just gonna end up adhering the last two sections of the two pieces together. So just get those all buttoned up, put the glue on there, just like what we have before. It's just a lot of little adhesives, just kind of holding it, making sure the adhesives take effect before letting go of it. But um, just getting those balls all clo closed up there and um, that glue will dry. Just give it a little bit of time and it will dry really nice, but it dries really, really fast and clear. So now take a peek and you know, you can get a little tighter rubber band that'll kind of bring it in a little closer. Um, but I would just find the part that is the closest um, in the front that goes together so I can do the front of my character. And so these are gonna be my two fronts here. And so um, now I'm gonna put the uh, two pieces together, but first I'm gonna put the this on top of it. Now we're gonna start doing a little bit of the finishing touches to start getting, um, preparing for the two bitty ball pieces to be put together and kind of lined up properly. Line up your two pieces and put the adhesive on there. Um, be generous on them. We're just gonna glue them together so then they stick together really good because they're gonna keep popping up over and over and over. Uh, we're not using the brads on this one. We're just gonna go ahead and adhere them together all as one piece. All right, so what we did is we took the, the oval pieces and made the, um, the stomach for it, uh, for the fox. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere the middle of the ears um, to the big part of the ears and then put them on the fox. Just put a little bit of adhesive. We gave a little bit of a chalk on there too, just to kind of change the color up just a little tad. Again, just lining up all your pieces, um, putting them all together, and uh, kind of prefabbing them a little bit before you um, adhere them down, just like with the tail. Matching up, it's going the right way on the right end of the tail, and then that way um, that it doesn't mess up at the other end when you're trying to put adhesive on there, and it makes just like a big blob spot on there. So just line them up. When you have um, the front of your your bitty ball and you have your little character what you want to do is figure out you know where it's going to get adhered to because you don't want to have it adhered to where when it goes down that it's going to be you know messing something up so um, kind of figure out where your little whiskers are going to go before you glue them down and that's looking pretty good so we're going to just adhere them to just this part kind of line it up eyeball it see that when it it flattens out got your little your little whiskers cute little whiskers and then the ears they're gonna go right here so I'll put a little bit of piece of there on the ears Kind of take a look and see which angle that you want them. I think we're just gonna stick them on there right while it's down. Makes it a little bit easier on some of these pieces. So these are really actually a lot easier to put together than you thought, I am sure, because I know that I was the first time that I put one of these little um, surprise balls together and they are just adorable all just the little critters and creatures and animals 
and insects and you can make all different kinds of balls, all different kinds of things with them. So we've got basically our fox piece here and then we're going to put the feet on. So this is where the little, the little feet are. Just gonna kind of just give that a little fold even though we don't really need the fold but then we know where it's gonna go underneath, underneath the little guy. So one is gonna go right here. Under that piece. And one is gonna go under this piece. Hold them down a little bit too. Just let that glue take effect. And we've already got the little feet guys there. We're gonna put the arms on. When you're putting the arms on your bitty ball character, the fox, you wanna make sure that you made the little marks with your Sharpie, a little fine tip marker that do like the little where the paws are at. So it gives it some definition. And then line up your arms too. You can kind of do a little preliminary test run when you're putting it in your card itself, depending upon what size card that you use, is to make sure that the arms in that are not sticking out too far from the outer edge. And then the tail on this one, kind of angle them up a little bit some adhesive on there that you want so he's sticking out oh his little tail is really cute his tail is really cute you'll have to cut the nose right down the middle a little bit to get them to work so it looks like one nose when it's all together See, and then when he splits apart, then it just looks like one nose. Smile. And then we're gonna have to snip it right in that middle. So you just put the little eyes on there to see which way that you wanna put them on there. That's what's great about this applicator bottle um, from Karen Bernison, is that it could put just a little bit of tiny of adhesive on there. So you can even make this little guy, you know, a place setting, you know, for a party, for a birthday party for a kid. Um, you know, just a party favor. They can have like a lot of fun building those. You know, they can have like a little party of characterizing and decorating them. And so you got your little, your little pop-up guy. Okay, so we're putting the card together. So um, there are just certain things that we've got going on here. Now you're just lining everything up. So when you push the bitty ball character down, that you can actually line them up within your card. So you want to Press down, fold your card up, see if anything is sticking out, and then that way everything will line up. You do one of those, you know, bands that goes around it. You can do magnets, whatever you want. But when they open it up, boom, boom, and you've got your little fox. Look at him. Look how cute he is. So this is all about the animals. This is all about the animals. It is absolutely adorable. Let's just take a moment and enjoy these beautiful cards that these designers made and made this event such a wonderful perfectly pets mini edition presented by it's cheaper than therapy these are just i mean look at this unicorn we've got the cheetah thank you for all of the designers karen bernison and um you know just gotta love that hot air balloon one too so there's some really awesome creatures, characters, you know, things that you can make with these dies. So thank you all for uh, joining our event. Um, and we've got just one more little message for you. Hello, I am Maria C, the Sizzix Lady from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. We were the first ones to ever sell Sizzix in the entire world in 2001, and we are so proud of that. Uh, we hope that you have just really enjoyed yourself today. We sell Sizzix, Karen Berniston, Elizabeth Craft Designs, Riley & Company Funny Bones, 
Renea paper, the double-sided foil paper, VZ Crafts Ultra Fine Glitter, and more. We also have some It's Cheaper Than Therapy products as well. And we wanna thank you so much for joining us for the Perfect Pets Mini Edition. We hope that you found lots of must-haves and picked up some new amazing techniques. Thank you so much for joining us and have a wonderful evening. Also enjoy the Biddy Bop Caterpillar. Now you know how to make this. Now you know how to make it work. So enjoy that. We hope you enjoyed Foxy. Have a great evening. Thank you.